you might encounter multiple replacement options when looking up shocks and struts for a vehicle. You might see the words active, dynamic, or electronic suspension in the parts description. What does it mean for your customer and part selection? Well, a lot. What makes these units unique are valves with variable orifices. These valves regulate the flow between the chambers on either side of the piston. These units can adjust in milliseconds and are integrated with other vehicle safety systems like ABS and stability control. The way to visually identify a CDC unit is to look for the connector. The connector can be placed on the unit's side or on top of the shaft. Other than that, they look like their passive counterparts. The valves can't be serviced or separated from the shock or strut. If a problem is detected with the system, the valves go into a fixed or fail-safe position and the system becomes passive. The driver is then alerted to the problem with a message or a light on the instrument cluster or message center. The driver may comment that the vehicle does not ride or handle like it once did. Fitting passive units to a vehicle with CDC units can significantly downgrade the comfort and safety of the vehicle. This is because CDC dampeners are integrated into the entire vehicle engineering process. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.